Hey guys, how are you doing? In this episode, we are going to see how to shut down or restart an iPhone. Welcome to our beginner series. Like if you're new to iPhone and iPad, the same steps are applicable on the iPad as well. So you can shut down or restart an iPhone. It is entirely different from Android if you're coming from Android. And you know, there are multiple ways to do the shutdown and restart of an iPhone. So we will see them one by one in this episode. And again, this episode is for beginners, new users who bought the iPhone and iPad. A friend of mine recently got an iPhone almost like for four or five months he was using it. And then every time he wants to shut down due to some bugs or anything that he asks me if I suggest to do the restart, a simple restart of the iPhone, then he navigates inside the settings app general and then he scrolls all the way to the bottom and clicks on the shutdown. So instead of using the hardware buttons, he does this every time whenever there is a need for shutdown requirement. And he also does the shutdown like two to three weeks once expecting a good performance of his device where I have to clarify that it is not recommended to do the restart every week or two weeks once or even a monthly once to get the better performance. Only if you notice any apps not working, the system services are not working, network issues, then you can do a simple restart. Otherwise, you don't need to shut down and restart your iPhone. So this is how he does the shutdown of his iPhone. This is of course one method, the software level way that we can do the shutdown of an iPhone. The hardware buttons that we can use to shut down an iPhone or iPad is you can press and hold the volume down button and the side button or the power button at the right side and this will bring the slide to power off feature okay so simply you can slide to power it off and one more useful tip is if you see iphone findable after power off it is good if it is not the message is not visible then you need to make sure that the bluetooth is not permanently off if you turn the bluetooth off from the settings bluetooth settings page then you know you will not see the iphone findable after power off so it is always recommended to turn off the bluetooth only from the control center so that the find my service and the tracking will always work even if you turn off the iphone or ipad this is very important so then you can slide to power off to turn off the iphone or shut down the iphone in android you know if we trigger the screen we will have the shutdown restart and plenty of other options standby i think so plenty of other options but in ios things are done differently and uh, when you cancel it it will immediately go into the lock mode where you have to enter the iphone passcode and the next simple method is navigate inside the settings and uh, accessibility then you can go inside the touch assistive touch and when this assistive touch feature is on some people prefer to use assistive touch on their iphone so here you can see the button like icon on the screen a virtual button or a virtual home button here you can see that the device option has more and uh, here you can see the restart button so this will perform the restart of your iphone when you press here using the accessibility assistive touch feature so this is an assistive touch feature that has plenty of other options that you can you know quickly access it like a shortcut on the screen itself using certain buttons visually so this is another method to restart an iPhone. You can turn it off if you don't want to use it. And the next one is using shortcuts app to create a shortcut that could help you to trigger the shutdown and restart function. So here you need to press the plus to add new shortcut and then search for actions. You can type shutdown. If you select this shortcut, then it'll automatically you know, ask you to shut down this device. When you tap on this blue color highlighted link text, it will ask you whether to perform the shutdown or restart. You can select this and then every time you run this shortcut, you ask Siri to run this shortcut, it will perform the restart or shutdown as per the configurations that you do here. So this is another way that will help you to do the shutdown or restart very easily. The next method is asking Siri to shut down or restart an iPhone. Can you restart an iPhone? Okay, it immediately followed it. I think it may be due to the bug in iOS 26, but you, you have seen a flash prompt like uh, for a second and it immediately went without, I'm interacting on whether to restart right now or not. So here I think it didn't restart at all. Okay, uh, I felt like it was shutting down, but it actually restarts. And now I'm seeing the Apple logo and it will take me inside. So the Siri is another way to perform the shutdown or restart of your iPhone and iPad. 
okay if the phone hangs all of a sudden and you can access siri quickly then you can do this restart or you know shutdown process that will help you and another accessibility way of you know shutting down or restarting the iphone is through voice control feature within the settings accessibility voice control is here if it is on and configured you can you know simply say the voice command for the screen to do so many tasks like you can navigate inside without touching your iphone display this does consume the battery power a little more but it is a useful accessibility feature for people who need to use this voice control so without touching the display with your fingers you can operate the iphone entirely you can ask it to navigate back and forth and you can ask it to open certain apps you know siri can does that but the voice control feature can do more than that so the voice control if you are using it can also help you to shut down and restart your iphone so these are the multiple ways that will help you to shut down and restart your iphone and ipad i hope you found this video informative and useful for more don't forget to subscribe and you may share this video if you want your friends or family members who recently got an iphone or ipad also want to know about this information thank you and have a wonderful day